What started off as a mom making aprons for her chef's son snowballed into a business. Craft Made Aprons has gotten the attention of some notable Twin Cities chefs, and its popularity has spread beyond the state. But as Heidi Wigdahl explains in this week's Behind the Business, they're also giving back to the service industry. At the Minnesota Sew-Up, seamstresses are helping a local business keep up with orders. This is nothing that was intended. It just happened. Kate Meyer is the co-owner of Craft Made Aprons. This is one that we keep consistently on the website. Creating unique and affordable aprons for those in the service industry. So I have three sons that are chefs. At least one of them came to me and wanted something that was um, not as expensive, a more functional, um, and just felt better on them. From different fabrics to pocket design, Kate considered their needs. My kids started wearing them at their jobs. And it was like almost immediately that their friends were wanting to have them. So like, can your mom make me an apron, right? Soon, notable chefs were wearing her aprons and then entire restaurants. There's just no days off since then. <laughs> a year and a half later, Craft Made Aprons has grown so much. They've teamed up with the Minnesota Sew-Up. Kate's custom aprons include the signature BA logo, a nod to her maiden name, Bourbon. We've gone from such a small place so fast and that's because of their support. Their support being the service industries. It's support Craft Made Aprons is giving back through a national initiative they launched earlier this month. We're calling it our project Black and Blue, and Black and Blue represents like the bruises or the scar tissue that like a person in the culinary world would have to go through as, as they build up. Teammate Trent Taher says half of the revenue from these aprons and t-shirts will be used to provide financial resources for service industry workers dealing with mental, physical, or financial stress. It's not glamorous. It's a lot of hard physical work. So watching the process of knowing what my kids went through, um, that's been a huge motivation for me. The whole idea is that it's, it's more than just like putting a donation into it. It's creating awareness. Awareness and support found in an apron. In Minneapolis, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. To be considered for assistance, people can nominate someone or themselves on Craft Made Aprons website. It's open to anyone in the service industry nationwide. You can tell us about a business you'd like to see featured on care11.com or by emailing Heidi at the address on your screen.